You know what really happens to your organs, or even brain, when you drink alcohol? Humans have been consuming alcoholic substances for millions of years, yet it is still considered as a toxin to our systems and our bodies respond to the substance in a myriad of ways. The story starts millions of years ago, back when our ancestors were just monkeys. Part 1. The Story of Humans and Alcohol Many of us have had the experience of having one or multiple alcoholic drinks too many. We may start to feel tipsy, slur our words, and perhaps forget how we got home at the end of the night or what happened entirely. It can feel great and liberating at first, but then both our minds and bodies become regretful and upset. How and why does this happen? A lot happens internally when we drink alcohol. The chemical toxin has a huge effect on our biological system and our behavior. Today, we are finding out exactly how and why. Neuroimaging and brain studies allow researcher scientists to discover exactly how much damage alcohol consumption can do. A study from the early 2000s on the effects of alcohol on the human body and brain wrote, if recreational drugs were tools, alcohol would be a sledgehammer. This is because there are very few parts of the human body and brain that alcohol does not impact. Yet, humankind has had a love affair with booze and brews for centuries. The oldest known alcohol made for consumption by humans dates all the way back to the Yellow River Valley in China between 7000 and 6600 BCE. That's a really long time ago. Why did Neolithic villagers create a fermented drink concoction of rice, honey and fruit? We can never know for sure, but we could probably take a few educated guesses. Consuming alcohol has been a part of the story of human evolution, and alcohol continues to be the most commonly consumed drug around the world. Research suggests that the human ability to break down alcohol internally helped our human ancestors survive in the wilderness. Rotting fruit creates ethanol, an alcoholic compound which makes the fruit digestible for humans and therefore available for calorie intake. This reason for humans ingesting alcohol in the first place is called the drunken monkey hypothesis. You can probably see why. Scientists believe that a single genetic mutation 10 million years ago enhanced our human ancestors' ability to break down ethanol so we could ingest more calories and have more energy. Had our Neolithic ancestors not been biologically able to, we would not have survived and evolved into the humans we are today. Yet, every evolutionary gain comes with a price. Just because our bodies can do it, does not necessarily mean it is healthy. Part 2. What happens to your body when you drink alcohol? Consuming alcohol affects nearly every part of the body as it slows down the signals sent between neurons. Interestingly, the chemical structure of alcohol is very unique as it is both water-soluble and fat-soluble, meaning it can pass into all the cells and tissues of the body. This helps to explain its damaging effects and how powerful of a substance it is on our entire system. It is easy to forget that ethanol, the alcohol fit for human consumption, is inherently toxic to the body and drinking too much can cause devastating damage on a cellular level. Physiologically, alcohol interferes with the brain's communication pathways affecting mood, behavior and thought formation. Drinking too much over a long period of time or overdoing it on a single occasion can damage the heart, causing high blood pressure or even a stroke. The liver is also significantly affected by heavy drinking, potentially causing a fatty liver, meaning the organ does not work as effectively as it should. Consuming too much alcohol can also cause liver inflammation. Drinking alcohol causes the pancreas to produce toxic substances which can lead to dangerous digestion problems and the swelling of blood vessels. Additionally, alcohol consumption has been linked to the development of certain types of cancers, such as liver cancer and breast cancer, as well as negatively impacting the function of immune cells. The long-term health risks are vast and quite frightening. Startlingly, alcohol is linked to over 200 types of diseases, conditions and injuries. 
Introducing only one chemical substance to the body and brain alters its function completely. There are several levels of alcohol intoxication, and let's just say some are much better than others for both the short and long term. Recent scientific research reveals that alcohol, particularly ethanol, can modify gene expression through a process called DNA methylation. This epigenetic alteration can activate or deactivate specific genes, potentially contributing to the negative health consequences of excessive alcohol consumption. Understanding these genetic changes is essential for comprehending the impact of alcohol on our bodies. Part 3. What happens to your brain when you drink alcohol? During the early stages of alcoholic intoxication, your brain releases dopamine, the chemical linked with pleasure and reward. The physicians at Northwestern Medicine call this stage euphoria. This is where one has a blood alcohol content, or BAC, of 0.03 to 0.12%. At this stage, one may feel tipsy and possibly a mix of feeling both relaxed and confident. Yet, this stage does not last too long. At this point, the damaging effects of the alcohol are masked, but the brain adapts to the release of the dopamine neurotransmitter and begins to emit less of it with every continued drink. In the next stage, the physicians call it excitement, the individual's blood alcohol content enters the 0.09 to 0.25% range. This is the stage of legal intoxication, and most of the brain is significantly impacted. The brain can no longer think clearly, judge appropriately, or work effectively as a result of its basic functions being significantly reduced. This level of intoxication can cause slurred speech and slower reaction times as the brain's GABA neurotransmitters have been slowed down. The next stage of alcoholic intoxication is called confusion, where the body enters a blood alcohol content of 0.18 to 0.3%. This stage can look like disorientation, potential blackouts, or loss of consciousness. Beyond this stage, concerning signs of alcohol poisoning can occur. The body can no longer metabolize the alcoholic substance of ethanol and the body is at risk of entering a coma or even death. Our bodies have evolved to break down ethanol but only to a certain degree and not without both short and long-term risks and damages. It is safe to say that alcohol affects our bodies, brains and overall health a lot. From the brain all through our major organs. From our moods, memories to our cognitive abilities. With each continued drink, the brain becomes increasingly intoxicated and cannot function effectively. It is important to remember that ethanol is a psychoactive drug and alcohol is a very powerful substance. Its consumption has significant effects on the human body and brain. Becoming dependent on alcohol can have dangerous and damaging results.